Okay, looking at the uh, sealing of the Holy Spirit. Uh, the Holy Spirit, of course, seals until the day of redemption. So what does it mean to be sealed by God? Uh, when we have made peace with God, we're born again. Uh, we have a new nature, and we're sealed by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes to indwell, uh, uh, to dwell within us and, and seals us. A seal indicates ownership, authority, responsibility, safety, and security. The Holy Spirit's present, and the believer is God's seal. God is the sealer. That's according to 2 Corinthians 1, verses 21 and 22. And the Father seals the Son and all believers. That's found in John 6, verse 27, Ephesians 4, verse 30. We are sealed because of our position in Christ. And Christ is sealed because of who he is. And the Holy Spirit himself is the seal and indicates we are owned by God. And that's in Ephesians 1, uh, verse 13. A new believer is sealed by the Holy Spirit when they first believed the gospel. And that's in Ephesians 1, verse 13. And also in that same verse, uh, Ephesians 1, 13, the time of the sealing is when one accepts Christ as their Savior. And so the seal of the Holy Spirit identifies the believer as belonging to God and under his safekeeping. The believer will be kept safe till the day of redemption, uh, according to Ephesians uh, 1, verses 13 and 14. The seal of the Holy Spirit signifies ownership, and in this case, it signifies God's ownership of believers. Uh, 2 Timothy 2, verse 19. The seal of the Holy Spirit signifies security, and believers are sealed unto the time of their redemption. Again, that's in Ephesians 1, 13 uh, through 14. The seal of the Holy Spirit signifies something that is not changeable. It's in Esther, chapter 8, verse 8. The seal of the Holy Spirit signifies a finished transaction. The seal of the Spirit testifies that we have entered into the finished work of Christ. And the seal of, uh, of the Holy Spirit uh, signifies something that is of value, great value. And the Holy Spirit is given to believers as the earnest of our inheritance or down payment. According to uh, 2 Corinthians uh, verse uh, 1, I mean chapter 1, verses 21 through 22. So it is God who seals us and gives us the earnest of the Spirit. And also note that uh, when a capital letter S is used in the word Spirit, it always means the Holy Spirit. So we have the earnest of the Holy Spirit, and, and the word earnest is used here. Uh, it means a part payment or a part payment of that which will be paid in full in the future. It's kind of a down payment, if you will. And at the moment we believe, we receive the indwelling Holy Spirit, which is a part payment of things that we are to receive. In Ephesians uh, 4, uh, verse 30, and Ephesians 1, verses 13 through 14. Uh, since Jesus Christ gave his life for you and me, uh, we can say he purchased us. Therefore, since we have now given our life to God, he has sealed us with the Spirit, and thus we are safe and secure until the day of redemption. The Bible tells us that God is all-powerful, so no one can undo God's seal on our way to heaven. It should be noted also uh, that uh, from the above references uh, that we receive the Holy Spirit and are sealed at the moment we believe, and it does not exclude any believer. And therefore, all believers are sealed when they first believe. So when the day, when is the day of redemption? Redemption means deliverance by payment of a price. Uh, to be redeemed is to be saved from sin, death, and the wrath of God, and to be saved to heaven and an eternity of peace and happiness with God. Therefore, we are safe and secure while in this life until we go home to be with God. And uh, that would be for the church at, uh, at the rapture uh, just prior to the uh, uh, tribulation period. And Satan will be sealed in the bottomless pit for 1,000 years in Revelation uh, 20 verse 3 and the book of Revelation tells of seven seals that no man can open 
That's in Revelation 5, verse 1. Believers are sealed unto the time of their redemption, according to Ephesians uh, chapter 4, uh, verse 30. And I thank you for your uh, attention and listening.